Salute Tone. So I wanted to show you how I have Anki set up to learn Esperanto. Because if you don't allow Anki to create cards automatically, you'll have to do it all by hand and it's a terrible experience. So obviously you have to download Anki, so download that. So the first thing we gotta do is create a deck right here on the bottom. Create deck. And then name it whatever you want. I already have one created. Then after that, we have to go to Tools, and then Manage Note Types. Now we got to go to Add, and now we want Add Forward and Reverse. So this is what allows it to create all the different cards at once. And then I already have one, so name it whatever you want. I called it Esperanto FNR for Forward and Reverse. And after that, we have to edit the fields. So we go to fields, and then just go ahead and create these four different ones. So Esperanto, English, Transitivity, and Example. You can just go over here, add, and then just type them in. And once you got those, get out of that. Come over back here and click on Cards. So these are the actual cards that you'll learn from. And what I have is that you'll see the word in Esperanto, then you'll have to say it out loud in Esperanto. You'll see in Esperanto, you'll have to type it in English, and then the opposite way. You'll see it in English, say it in Esperanto, see it in English, type it in Esperanto. You can come up over here on the plus sign and create a new card. You can see it popped one up. And you can come down here and more and rename it to whatever you want just so it's easier to keep track of. So you can just take these and pretty much just copy what I have here. So there's that one. There's this one. There's this one. And there's this one. And just a note too that inside these curly brackets are the names of the fields that we just created. So this will automatically populate with the English version of the word and the transitivity and example and whatever else. Okay, so we got the cards done. Go ahead and close out of this too. And then let's edit the options. So over here, go to options. Now for me, I like to bump up the new cards a day pretty high because even though it's 40 cards, there's only 10 new words because we created four different cards. So take whatever new words you want to learn a day and multiply by four. Now down here on Barry related cards you want to uncheck it because if not Anki will only show you one of those four cards that we created but we want to see them all at the same time. On reviews you can bump up the maximum reviews a day you can do whatever you want. And down here you want to uncheck Barry related reviews for the same reason as before. Now for lapses, we want to increase the leech threshold as high as it can go, which is 99. Now what Anki does with leeches is that it actually suspends it, but we don't want to do that. So if you keep hitting I don't know the answer to it, it'll eventually suspend it, but we don't want that. So put this at 99 and then leech it as tag only. And then that's it. And then now the fun part. Let's add some new cards. So click add and let's do Imanjas Kuko. So me, which is me or I Manji Eat. And 
Coco. Okay. And then you can see we have 12 here. So we just put three words in, but we get 12 cards out of it. And let's study. So what I do is I look at it, then I say it out loud. So me, that's me. And you can see down here, you can choose again, good, easy. And then if this wasn't a new card, there'd be another box over here. And you can use your number pad to do these two. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and that other box would be four. So I felt easy on that. Manji, to eat. Kuko, cake. Me, is me. Manji, to eat. Kuko, cake. Me. Manji. Kuko. Me. Manji. Kuko. And there you go. So some things you can look at is stats. Gives you all the stats, gives you graphs, all that cool stuff. You can check out Browse and Browse your deck. And you can also sync it too, so you can get it on your phone or your tablet, your desktop, your laptop, everything. So you just got to sign up for it, that's all. And then you can also do custom study too. So you can increase the limit, you can review old cards, you can learn ahead, do whatever you want. And then you can also get shared decks. So you can go online, look for Esperanto, or look for any other type of decks. And that's it. Cheese.